Right, Mick Sorby, we're, um, we're uh, let me think, 11 days away from Hartlepool, our town. Yeah. So you can pre-order it now, 4 95 via Kindle from Amazon. Um, paperback is going to be 14 95 um, so that'll be out in the June, the paperback. The Kindle's coming out this month, literally 11 days away. Uh, so we've been in the Gazette, been in the um, Hartlepool Mail last week. We're in Hartlepool Live next week. Um, yeah. Done a few papers recently. Has anyone been asking about it? Quite a few people asked me when it's coming out. Quite mm. a few people and asked me out orders. Um, but do you know this book, Jamie? I think it's going to be better than the first one. I really do. Well, the first one was just you. Yeah. It was just all about you, Love Island. Yeah. All this kind of stuff you're involved with. But this second one, so <clears throat> it's like <clears throat> Josie Jenkins... Lawrence mm. Martin, um, Tales from the Estates, a lot of lot of a lot of men, a lot of men is in that yeah, as well. Yeah, so, a lot as well for a little sound. Was it Norma? Something. Norma, she got uh, yeah. But the, like, I think you know. Yeah. Um, there's but there's a few uh, that you give in detail, you know, and how it affects the town. Um, chapter on boxing. As well, yeah, we've got some good boxes, a lot of boxes. Yeah, Herbie James's stable was it the Headlands? Yeah, brilliant man. That so, do you know what? This is the A to Z of Artipole, and you might even be in it, or you'll definitely yeah. know someone. But you know, it this is Another this is a good trainer there, Timmy Collett. He's a good lad, right? Yeah, um, one guy this book touches on quite a bit, and there was quite a few funny stories on him. Was um, a boxer called Philly. Gibson, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he, he yeah, he sounded like it, yeah. Uh, sadly, no longer with us, yeah. but you know, I mean, some of them, some of the tales on Josie Jenkins in this book is just like I would have loved to have met her, yeah. She's a brilliant woman, I've, I've thought a lot about her, mm. yeah. She's got a daughter, she's the same as her, I'm the same, she thinks the same as her, she's a lovely girl, a daughter, mm. Lawrence, what a character, he was, yeah. Well, I honestly believe that Lawrence was some relation to Philly, you know. Philly, yeah. Our Philly. Philly yeah. Tobin. Philly Tobin, yeah. I yeah. think that Apple is. But no, but you know what? When, obviously, well, there's, when there's, um, sorry about that. When there's a stories about, if you Google Lawrence Martin, they reckon that it was alleged that Robert Maxwell was his yeah. dad. Yeah. But when you see the pictures of them both together, yeah, it's scary. Yeah. Uh, he was a character, wasn't he? Yeah. I just got to prison, you know, and I went to um, what do you call that shop? Uh, Matterland. Yeah. Matterland. Matterland. I went in there. But I was last, well, it wasn't there when I went to prison, but it was there when I came out. And I seen this thing. It was in. Well, sort of the same thing, but I yeah. didn't know if it was a man or a woman at first. And I said, I said "What's that?" She said, "Oh, it's only Lawrence take no notice." Mm. Yeah. yeah. I I I'd done a lot of like um, bit of research on the Hartlepool forums. And uh, there was a lot of there was a lot of tales where he'd literally stand behind the goal shouting, "There's only one Mickey Barron," and like even the away fans knew him. Yeah. But like he'd be in women's high heels, yeah, scared. Yeah, well, yeah. But then like a Hartlepool top top yeah. Hartlepool football club. Yeah. Uh, and I, do you know what? I dare say I didn't know him, but Hartlepool's lost a character when he gone, wasn't he? Yeah, they have. Yeah, everybody knew him. Everybody in Hartlepool knew him. Mm. Well, if they didn't know him, they just mentioned him and knew who he was. You mm. know, it's like that. Even the away fans knew him, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, <laughs> right. but uh, yeah, do you know we we touch on a lot of the characters, the door life, um, some of the on the cobbles fights. Right. Uh, I'm just trying to think. You know, obviously we we take off. We literally finish. We we start from the last chapter of book one. Yeah, and we I'm starting on book three now, and um, <clears throat> so myself, you, and Paul Suggett, we're going to be doing a few things as well. Yeah. Documentary and, yeah, and, and, right, and, a, yeah. and a book. Yeah, that's very good at what you're doing. How, how are you these days, Mick? I'm all right. I'm how was right. how was life with you and the treatment and all this? I'm not taking no treatment. I'm just taking the oil, magic oil. Yeah, yeah. And I was at I was at fire. All right. Yes, it's good. It's um. I don't think I'd be like I'm going to say fit. I'm not that fit. No, like, but I don't want to be like I am today. If I wasn't taking it. Mm. Um, you see me when the first time you see me, I've gone down to about 13 stone mm -hmm. with the cancer. And I'm back up to 17, 17, 3 now, I think. And that's purely because... The oil. That's what, well, I believe it is. Yeah, yeah. It, it, absolutely. Yeah. You know. Um, 
I mean, you were given in the life. You were on the verge of being given. Well, what he said to me was, the doctor, he said, um, this is how he explained to me. He said, when the blood count gets to nine, I the doctor might say when it gets to 12, I don't know. But he said, when it gets to nine, he said, that's when you get your end-of-life tablets. I said, all oh, right. I said, how far am I? He said, 8.4. I thought, oh, I think that was that bad. Anyway, then... This other kid I know, I don't, I don't want to tell you, yeah, yeah. because I don't know if he, he yeah. wanted me to, do you know what I mean? Anyway, he said, try this oil, he said, because my father-in-law has been on it, mm. and he's doing another six years on it. Mm. Anyway, I started, and after a couple of weeks, I thought, I'm wasting my time, it's not doing me any good. Mm. But after about four months. Was it that long? Time. So it took a long time to, to work. Well, this is before I've seen any difference in myself, before I noticed. Four months? Yeah. Right. right. And but when I'm saying in four months, four months I was back up to sixteen stone, mm. and then I just it just seemed to come back on me weight it barely could. I've had and I've stayed at seventy two, seventy three now. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you got a really good quality. Do you know what? You come near the month, mate, and and, and I, I looked at you and I thought like the best I've ever seen you. Yeah. And you know, listen, we're all we're all at a race against life. Yeah. Once you're born. Yeah. But uh, do, do you know what it is? It's it's. I've seen a massive difference in you yeah, from... I feel a lot different, mm. honestly. Um, I was just... <laughs> I was just... Um, I was just... I thought, that, that, that's it with me. I didn't. That's what I really thought. Yeah. And I go on this oil. And you thought, oh, what a difference it's made. Mm -hmm. Honestly. I know that... Call the lad John who put me on the wood. I want mm. to say it first now. You're a big favour made for that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, yeah, so we, we've got, as I said, Hartlepool... Our town. It was going to be called Hartlepool Born and Bred Two. <clears throat> we had um, a little thing that we slightly just had to walk around it. So yeah. Hartlepool, our town. Clues in the name. Yeah. Uh, and it is, you know, I, I, I never realised, you know, Hartlepool to Middlesbrough, where I grew up for most of my life, um, is twelve miles. But as the crow flies, it's seven. Yeah. But uh, I didn't know a great deal about Hartlepool. And I've kind of, I think I put it in the book, I've kind of become like an adopted monkey hanger, if you like. Yeah. And, I mean, I would never have guessed. I mean, the wife was there the other day. She just passed the driving test. And she come back and she said, what a lovely place Hartlepool is. Like, the beach yeah. is gorgeous. Yeah. Do you know, and it, it is, it's... And the more I've delved into its history and dug, I thought, it's a very unique place. The, the Edland is. Yeah. So what's the difference between the headland and the dockers then? Well, that was, was there first. Just, one's a codhead and one's a... Yeah. So there's a rivalry. Yeah. <coughs> well, yeah, you, could, you couldn't go into each other's bit. You should have a fight all the time. Mm. So fighting. Same with just just about from where I live. How long would you say it was? From where I live. About 600 yards down the road. Mm. Between Westfield. And that was the same. You couldn't... Mm. Yeah, yeah. What's hardly poor like a day? Is it still a bit rough or is it? It's still a bit rough, but it's mostly drugs, Jamie. Is it honestly. really is it really yeah. bad? Yeah, bad for drugs. What kind of drugs? Heroin, then blues, then what do you call that spice? Spice. Yeah. I, I couldn't I can't imagine why I'm going to take that spice when you see mm. the state them. Mm -hmm. If someone filmed them and showed them the back, I, I think it would make them stop, but yeah. I really think it would. Yeah. Because they're a mess. Yeah. But um, yeah, there's a lot. There's a really lot of good things that you've given me. For um, I've got ten chapters of it upstairs on my dictaphone. Yeah. So Hartley Paul book three, um, and we're gonna do one down the line when uh, yeah. have you just basically on the back of you're gonna be filming yeah. something, yeah. which we'll probably keep that quiet for now. Yeah, I'm told when I was done. No, told the last <clears> one. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's uh. A few, a, few, a few people have kind of got in touch with you, haven't they? So you're the yeah. bloke who's done the book. Yeah. Somebody at Ross in Scotland, going to my son, Michael, so he lives in Aberdeen. So well, someone in Whitby seen you as well? Oh, yeah. Like Whitby, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said he knew you. Really? He said he'd been talking around the phone. I have no idea what it was. Yeah. Oh. I can't remember where he said he's from, though. No. Wakefield, wasn't Wakefield. it? Wakefield. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. he was looking at me, I thought. And Michael, there was, you going to, yeah, that's what's something because we were waiting for him coming out the shop. Yeah. And then... She said, Who have you got something wrong with him? Look what he's looking like there. Mm. I said, No. And I looked over and he was just like that. Mm. Looked at me like that. Anyway, then he walked over and he went, Had to pull a born and bread. Yeah. And that's how he went. Yeah. Do you know, a lot, a few, man, uh, Connor, um, but th th there's been a handful that said, Do you know what, Jamie, you're, you're 20 bucks, that's that's the best by far. Yeah. And do you know, it's credit here because it was gripping. It was like, then yeah. there's some really hard stories in it, Ray, particularly about your. 
your father. Um, yeah. Well, he's got no one. He? Yeah. Can't do no, no more. But, uh, yeah, so Hartlepool, our town, you can pre order it now via Kindle, £4.95. Yeah. Paperback is £14.95. A lot of the money is going to be going to a great cause as well, isn't it? It's, it's for my great grandson for the kidney, kidney thing. Kidney. Is that Ollie? Yeah, Ollie, yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, is, he, oh, is he one? Yeah, he's one, yeah. Right. Yeah. He said, um, he, can't, he couldn't have, you had to be careful, you fed him, you know. Right. But now she just got a letter the other day or a text or something or an email um, saying that we can eat all he wants and he'll take another blood test in a couple of weeks and see how it's affecting him. Mm. But what's he like? Like, like a tail light? Anything he? inside. He's like, yeah. He's like his, grand, he's like his great granddad, isn't he? Yeah. He's, he's like you. No, like. <laughs> <laughs> he's there. So he's like a little Pac Man. I'll give you an example <clears throat> this morning, right? He had two weed bicks. Yeah. Right? Then he had ice lolly, then he wanted, no ice cream, then he wanted another ice cream, then he had a chocolate biscuit, then he had four of them cream things, yeah, cream biscuits, you know. Yeah. Um, he had a plum, and this is all in the space of an hour. Yeah. Yeah. And, and his, his big brother put you in hospital recently. Yeah. No, big... no, I'm very careful now. He doesn't grow my knee, he's got weapons in his hand. Yeah. So his, his big brother was four of the week, but when he was free, he hit you in, he hit you in the ear with yeah, a hammer. plastic hammer. It wasn't. It wasn't a real hammer, though, was yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, was it? Yeah. And then, then the so, next, so, next year, he, he gets up and he sat on the table. Like, I'm sat here and he sat on the table, his legs on my knee. Yeah. And he's, I've just gone a, a thing for the boxing, right, the punch bag. Yeah. And he's been practising on it. And he said, it's good, that grand, isn't it? He went, Doof, punch, bust me lips. Did he? Yeah. Of all the fights you've had, you've been filled in lately by a three-year-old. Three-year-old. Street grade, gone. Yeah. Um, but gone. yeah, you know what? It's going to be a unique book. And as I said, I, I googled the population of Hartlepool in the research for this. So 92,500. That's yeah. the population yeah. of the town. And um, the, the vast majority will know everyone in this book. Yeah, they will, yeah. Yeah. Because from all, every corner of the town, it's, it's in about somebody... Mm. It's yeah. like, do you know what? They were just names to me. They're yeah. not from Artipole, but, you know, obviously I've done a bit of research, forums, and uh, it is a lot of interesting characters. It is, <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Do you know, book three, which we've got, which there was a monkey in Seat and Crew. Yeah. And there was a monkey who used to drink, wasn't it? Was there? a horrible little bastard thing. Yeah. There was a people who used to, so there was a bloke who used to sell pictures with the monkey. Yeah, he used to let it sit on his shoulder and yeah. take a picture. Yeah. You have to be careful, but when I lose an ear or something. Yeah. yeah. It used to buy people. Yeah. And, and people used to buy Especially drinks. Especially drink. Drinks in the pub. Yeah, you used to get dead pat. But, oh. So only in Hartlepool would you find yeah. a monkey who drinks. The block, one of the things you want to do, make music. Mm. And he used to sit on that. Mm. Then he'd come along, you get your photo took with him. You could see, look like you, you knew it was evil by looking mm. at you. Can I ask you a question? I put a picture on the other day of a, a, an Alsatian dog on the top of a roof at one of the shops in Hartlepool. Oh, oh man, yeah. And uh, people were like, no, that can't be real. So how, how does a dog, how does this Alsatian dog climb at the top of a roof? And so it's with flats on and with fire escapes. Right. So that story was pretty well known in Hartlepool yeah. the other day. Yeah. So I was talking to Michael under the box, so he commented on it. And he said, oh, it just climbed at the top, I don't know what's about. And then someone seen it coming down and then yeah. just walked off. Yeah. So even the dogs in Hartlepool are like street. Just do what they want. <laughs> <laughs> do you know after prize you never grabbed it and hung it though. <laughs> <laughs> so Mick, last word to you, mate. Yeah. Right. Please buy this book because it's going to be a good book. You're going to enjoy it. it yeah, really is. it is. Uh, as I said, it's. Uh, do you know what I think I've described it in the social media as the A to Z of monkey hanging. Yeah. You know it, it does. It covers everything. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. If you don't buy it, you're going to miss out. You're and really uh, I've even, like, they've even got your own language, the lingo, and I've had a research. Oh, yeah. and Definitely Some the things, of the obviously. words, yeah. you know, considering it's so close to Middlesbrough, I've never heard of, like, he hellish and, yeah. you know, like, uh, so I, I've, I've dug deep and kind of the word, but then I've put, like, the meaning next to it. But yeah. it's normal in Hartlepool, even though it's, like, 12 mile away in Middlesbrough, yeah. it's like, I've never heard it. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's, uh, yeah, there's some funny words. Some some people wouldn't know what they meant, would they? Mm. Yeah. So, Mick, always a pleasure, mate. And uh, if anyone wants Same any more information, there's a Facebook page called Hartlepool Born and Bred Books. Yeah. 
um give us a message on there and like i said you can pre-order it now it's on amazon so uh yeah it's going to be coming out literally in the next 11 days cheers jamie thank you